Well, what's going on friends? Rich Demuro here, richontech.tv, and we're gonna do some iPhone math. I know that so many of you are excited to get the new iPhone, and why wouldn't you be? It's a nice, shiny new device. It's expensive, but it's got some new features, better camera, better battery life. You get a bigger one if you want, the uh, Max. So let me go over some math because there's something really interesting that's kind of always gone on with iPhone pricing. And that's basically when you buy the least expensive model, you're actually paying the most. I know, sounds kind of crazy. Let me explain. So I've got the pricing here for the iPhone 10s. Let's start with that. So we got the 10s, right? So let's just do basic pattern math, okay? So for 512 gigs, you pay $1,349 for 256 gigs, you pay $1,149. And we're just following a pattern here. You see the pattern? They're taking the memory, they're cutting it in half, they're taking $200 off the price. Let's just follow it down. 128 gigs, that would be $949. And then we've got 64 gigs, and that would be $749. Now, you might be already thinking to yourself, hold on, Rich, what are you talking about? Number one, they don't make a 128 gig phone. I know, already they're kind of messing with the math here because they don't make that model. They make you jump down to 64. And you might be thinking, hold on, 64 gigs is not $749, it's actually $999. A difference of, let me get a better color here so you can see, $250. So the way I see it, you are actually paying a $250 premium to get the cheapest device. You see that works? Because if you're following the pattern of $200 off and half the memory, this should be $749. They're actually selling it for $999. So while it seems like that might be the cheapest phone to go with, this is actually a much better value for your money. Now let's see how that same exact math works for the iPhone 10 Max. So let's go with the Max, and we'll just do the same exact pattern. 512 gigs is $1,449. Uh, then you get 256 gigs, and that is $1,249. Oh, do we see the pattern that's already emerging? So what would the next number be? 128, which is half the memory, and this would be $1,049, right? And then we go down to 64, which is half the memory, and we go down to $849. Now, again, they're not selling this model. You can't get it in 128, which is interesting because it would follow that pattern, right? You can only get it in 64. And this is not the price of the 64. The price of the 64 is $1,000. 99. So if we do the math again, you're looking at 1100 minus 850, which is, let me do my math, hold on, 1100, so that'd be 100, 100, 250, oh, again, that magic number of $250. So you're actually paying a $250 premium to get the cheapest phone. So again, your best bet when it comes to the iPhone 10s Max is this price of $1,249, and that makes it kind of expensive. Now, it would be great in an ideal world if they offered this combination, 128 for 1049 and 128 for 949. That's not a possibility right now. So there you have it. I call it iPhone math. This has been going on if you go back into history of all the iPhones. The memory versus the price versus the pattern never has added up. So while most people think you're getting a deal by going with the cheapest, so-called cheapest one, I say bump it up. You're going to get much more memory for a better price. All right. Thanks so much for watching. You can debate as much as you want in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree or if you disagree or if there's something I'm missing in my math. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Give me the old thumbs up if you like this. If you learned something, share it with your friends. If you uh, want to pass it along, I'm Rich Demiro, richontech.tv. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.